the investigation into at least four car fires in the same neighborhood. And disturbing all of the vehicles were torched within blocks of one another in southwest Philadelphia, and it's being called suspicious. Action News reporter Caroline Goggin is live near the scene of the last car destroyed with what we know. Good morning, Caroline. Good morning, guys. I am still waiting for more information from Philadelphia police about these incidents here in southwest Philadelphia. But check this out. This is evidence of one of the car fires that happened overnight. This is along Cobbs Creek Parkway. You can see this car is burnt. There is still foam that is coating the ground right now. The owner of this car says he recently bought it from someone. He was hoping to fix it and resell it. But obviously right now it's just destroyed. This is what it looked like when fire crews arrived to Cobbs Creek Parkway this morning. This white Honda sedan was on fire in the 2100 block of the parkway. This was at least the fourth car that was set on fire that our cameras captured overnight. Less than a half mile from here, another car was hit around 2.30 this morning. You can see the smoke coming from this vehicle that was parked at 70th and Woodland Streets. Fire crews then responded to 72nd and Buist, where the silver sedan had been set on fire. You can see the interior of the car was charred and it was still burning by the time our camera got there. Finally, along the 6500 block of Glenmore Ave this morning, this truck was set on fire with a large amount of debris inside of the back of it. You can see that debris was just out here, sprawled along the road as crews worked to put that fire out. And we want to take you back out live here to Cobbs Creek Parkway again. This car, one of the four we know that was charred overnight. We are told the fire marshal was checking surveillance cameras in the area of these four incidents looking to see if there was any video that may have captured a suspect or suspects that's responsible for each of these fires. The good news in all of these situations is that no injuries have been reported. We are live in Southwest Philadelphia. I'm Caroline Goggin, Channel 6 Action News. Alicia. Yeah, no injuries, good news, but just looking at those cars, it's so, so disturbing for those neighbors. Caroline, thank you.